November 1, 1952. U.S. government scientists in the Marshall Islands press the button that ushers in a new era of explosive power. The age of the H-bomb. This bomb is 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic fission bombs that fell on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Unlike those bombs, which created energy by splitting nuclei in a process called fission, this new weapon forces the nuclei of hydrogen atoms together. This is nuclear fusion. High explosive first initiates a fission reaction. This creates super high temperatures. In the intense heat, the hydrogen nuclei fuse to form helium. This releases a huge amount of energy and creates a massive explosion. When you get to fusion, all bets are off. And really, there is almost no upper limit. Thanks to the H-bomb, the U.S. leads the arms race, but not for long. October 30th, 1961, a Soviet bomber flies toward a remote island in the Arctic Circle. On board, a special cargo, a 27-ton hydrogen bomb. This is the king of bombs, the Tsar bomb. At 8.33 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, the Soviet Union sets a new and terrifying record. The Tsar bomb explodes with 3,800 times more power than the Hiroshima bomb. The fireball is seen over 600 miles away. Shock waves circle the Earth three times. This is the greatest man-made explosion in human history. It heralds an age of mutually assured destruction in which there are enough nuclear bombs to destroy humanity many times over. It's a threat which, despite countless treaties and agreements, continues to this day. This is the ultimate bang. In the space of a thousand years, explosive power increases hundreds of millions of times. But nuclear bombs are dirty and indiscriminate. They render the land on which they fall useless, and their deadly legacy can last for thousands of years. So the quest for a bigger, better bang continues. And in the fallout from the atomic age, scientists think they may have found the key to the ultimate bang, to an explosion of immense power and precision.